In this sixth simulation, we will look at um, incorporating profitability variables into the simulations. Uh, thus far, all the prior five simulations have dispatched a truck when an order was received, disregarding completely any uh, consideration for making a profit on that particular run. And that strategy is actually no strategy at all. Um, if anything, it might make the customers happy in that they are getting their orders delivered quickly, but eventually the customers will be dissatisfied because the logistics company will probably go out of business. So, therefore... Um, I incorporated profitability variables, um, which I'm thinking is a differentiating factor um, that this simulation application holds um, as opposed to other logistical uh, simulation applications. Okay, that said, um, for we want to decide on a profit margin that we are making um, on the goods or services, goods delivered or services rendered. It, this depends on industry me metrics, uh, depending on what industry you are in, uh, grocery delivery, um, computer repair. Um, there are um, established profit margins uh, that are averaged out for that particular industry. That said, let's go. We're going to go with a a two percent profit margin on this particular service. Um, that's high if it's groceries. Uh, probably that's low if it's computer repair. But we'll do a two percent profit margin, um, which I put in right here. Now we will designate a minimum dollar delivery that we will accept for any order called in or somehow transmitted to our our business. So we are not going to accept any orders less than $60 now. With these two variables considered that we want a truck to leave for a region only if that truck contains enough orders that will generate a profit to that region of whatever amount we designate. So we want a mandatory profit, let's just say a $50, before any truck is dispatched to any region. In other words, if Region C1 has generated eight orders, well, let's say it's generated three orders, but at a 2% profit margin, and their orders, the, the, the orders generated by C1 are all over $60. However, the mandatory profit for that region is only at $49, of all those orders combined at 2% profit, the truck will not leave until the next order comes that will let us realize a mandatory profit of $50. We can put a delivery charge that's added on over and above the profit, the minimum dollar delivery. So if an order comes in for $60, we can charge $5.00 on top of that to the customer and as with other interfaces we can charge a higher delivery charge to regions to other regions just depending on what the characteristics of those regions are okay what we'll do now we'll go to the main map and I'm going to Put in for one day, 250 orders. Now, now, please recollect that this is the same 
variables that we had for the prior simulation with no constraints on the profit. So what should happen here, and we will allow dispatch alerts to occur. So let's see. We're going to run the project, and if we can see, we have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 orders generated before the first dispatch alert has come in. It's asking us to dispatch a truck to region D2, and it's obviously the most highly performing region. So now, only after 85 orders have come in, have, has a region reached the the, man, the, the uh, mandatory profit of $50 for that region. Okay, now we have 109. Now we have a region to E9. Okay, here we see E9 down here. It has seven orders outstanding. It took seven orders for that region to be generated, for uh, generating that region before a truck could be dispatched. Now, see, uh, region H, seven orders in region H. Region E1 now has seven orders, so it's looking like it's taking approximately six or seven orders. E, uh, E8, whereas E8 has six orders generated. Region C4, okay, it's red, so so it's we're seeing region E2 has seven orders outstanding. Region D1, seven orders outstanding. Now all these or now those now the orders are coming in rather a bit more quickly. Notice that we've used three trucks to for the simulation of 250 orders as opposed to 13 trucks that we used in the prior simulation, simulation number five, when no profit options were set for that particular simulation. However, as you can see, there are plenty of orders outstanding in the blue regions. We have C5 with six orders outstanding. So I'm not saying that this is the ideal way to go, but these are variables that can be adjusted depending on whatever type of profitability strategy that the particular logistics company wants. Um, and there are myriad uh, combinations of the minimum dollar delivery, the profit margin, the mandatory profit. And please look at the next simulation, and we will continue our analysis of the culmination of this particular simulation run. Thank you very much.